Steve. Only me. Lindsay Denton, I'm arresting you on suspicion of impersonating a police officer. No. And as you're on licence, that means a return to prison. What a crying shame. No, just wait. Wait. Listen. All right, don't take me to a police station. I request AC-12. I'm going to make a statement. No skin off my nose. I thought it was Steve's car until I saw the registration. Yeah, well, my Ferrari's in the shop. So I had to get a carpool job with the rest of the rabble. No back roads, just stick to the main drag. Don't worry. I'm not going to put my hand on you, Dave, if that's what you think. So, what's all this big news you've got for us, then? All in good time. I said no back roads. Change of plan. Nearest station's Polk Avenue. I'll take you in there. They can charge you for impersonating a police officer. That's you back inside. End of. OK, listen. I found Danny Waldron's list. The VIPs who were abusing boys at Sandsview. How do you manage that, then? It didn't make sense for Danny to make a hard copy of the original list that could be lost or destroyed. He'd make an online copy. Obviously, you'd have already seized his phone and computers. Yeah, obviously. He would have used a device that couldn't be traced to him, and I spotted an internet cafe just off his route home. He used a webcam on one of the computers to capture an image of the original list. So how did you manage to crack his passwords on that? Well, you'd already harvested. Danny's usernames and passwords on his phone, computer and online accounts are all recorded here. Fortunately, people have a habit of recycling usernames and passwords. So how do you manage to find his email? It looks everywhere. Danny was smart enough to keep the email only as a draft. If it isn't sent, it can't be traced. Well, you've thought of everything, haven't you? No, I have indeed. I deleted Danny's draft. The only place that list exists is as a draft in my email account. So you take me to AC12 and I'll hand it over. At a price, naturally. So what price did that be, then? My conviction quashed. A full pardon. Clean slate. Fresh start. Are you making fun of me? Actually, I wasn't. You just take me to AC12, all right? You know what? Don't worry, I'm going to call them myself. But AC12 don't want nothing to do with you. They just want you back in prison. But well, you're different somehow, are you? I know you took that bribe, Lindsay. But you didn't do it for the money, did you? You took it because you wanted to find a young girl who was being groomed by Hunter and his cronies. How do you know that? 50 grand the first time. 100 grand this time? What? Face facts, Lindsay. Your old life. No, oh, that's a pipe dream. It's gone. Yeah. It's sad. The only way you can get a fresh start. Or do I have to spell it out? 100 grand, and you forget about all of this. That list included. All you have to do is forget about everything. All of this. Look, just take the money, you mad bitch, and stay out of it. What are you doing? Why don't you just take the money? Because I'm a police officer! For you, this is a forensic ground zero. Don't do that. You had four, five people killed and me framed. 
I expect you had Danny Waldron killed too. And never a single speck of blood on your hands. You want to shoot me? You go ahead. If it sends you to prison, that is my job done. Do not send that message. You're just a go-between. You're a weasel. Other people do your dirty work for you. Now you put that gun away. You take me to AC-12. Let's see what they will think when I bring you in. When I bring in the caddy. No.